Hey, it's James from Free Electrical, and today's episode, this is Subscriber by the ICR. Let's get into this. Right, so into the property now then. So we've got our EICR to carry out then. So we've got a little, little fuse board under here, which we've got to test. So we've got the subscriber here, so you don't want to be on camera, um, but he's, he's happy to talk then. So why did you get us in then? Well, it's for my daughter, and when I was looking at the electrics, yeah, um, I just had a visual uh, inspection after watching your videos and other people. And I really thought it's got to be done right and it's got to be done safely. So yeah, yeah. I looked up you and here you are. Yeah, hey, hey, so you think there's a few dodges then? I think there's a lot of dodges, yeah. but that's for you to decide. We shall see. Right, we'll kick off this testing then. Let's see what the inside is going to look like then. So we've already, already had a look, but let's have a look for you guys. Look at that then. It's not, not too bad. So it's new colouring. So it's past 2005, but there's some old circuits in there. So they're probably good, good 30 plus years old then. So then, so we've got a few circuits to test then. So we've got three over here which look like lighting and then we've got a few power circuits to the left. Right then, so the first test we're gonna do then is ZE then. So what we're gonna do is disconnect any parallel paths and then test the line all the way back to the transformer and earth loop path. So what we're gonna do then, we'll have to disconnect these cables out here. So we've just got the incoming earth and then we'll get that test. So that's the parallel pass disconnected then. So we've just got the earth coming in then. So this is the worst case example. Because what you don't want to do is have all the parallel pass connected and your actual earth for the property is your gas pipe sticking in the floor. <laughs> like some TT. But yeah, that is not good. So yeah, so we're going to make sure that this is the earth coming in. So this is a TNS. So it's the actual steel wire diamond coming in. So we've just connected on there. We've got the line coming in. Obviously we've disconnected earth to everything else. So you switch the power off. I'm just going to press test, it should be quite a quick one, there we go, 0 0.23, 1.1 kA, so that's uh, the ZE done. Right, so we're on to the testing now then, so what we've done then, so we've just disconnected the circuit then, so I think this is the shower, so what we've done then, so it's a 10mm going up to the shower, so we've just disconnected it now, so we've got a neutral line out, so to the earth of that circuit then, so what we're going to do then, insulation resistance, so greater than 200, so that's a perfect reading for a cable then. So I'll just write that in, um, in in the test result, nice and easy. So we've got insulation resistance, that's the dead test. I can never say insulation, because I'm silly. And my wife pointed it out, and now I can never say it again. So, <laughs> so now we've got continuity. <laughs> we're doing the continuity test. So we're basically going to do, which is R1, R2, or big R1, big R2, as uh, some people call it in, in videos. This, this lad down here watch, watches all the electrical videos, so he knows all the terminology from different electricians, so it's... Interesting what other people uh, call it, my phone's ringing. Right then, so what we're gonna do then, we're gonna connect uh, line, which is your big R1, to the earth of that circuit then. And then what we're gonna do then is go to the other end, and we're just gonna test line to earth, uh, and then it'll obviously test all the way back down to here, through that loop, and then all the way back, and that is your R1 plus R2. All right then, let's retest this then. So we've got line to line, that's improved now, so it's gone down to 0.28. And then what we're going to do then is test the neutrals now. Now I've done a bit of fault finding for him. There we go, 0.28, bang on. Look at that, perfect. There we go, that's all back together now then. So yeah, the nice little tip that. So it only took five minutes just to catch up neutral earth, go around, see the highest reading, and then where it stops. Um, so check the highest reading, the one after it, and then I've, I've investigate. And yeah, there we go, found it first First try, which is brilliant. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna whiz through, so we've got all the other circuits to test, they're all the same thing, so radial circuits, so connect, so insulation resistance, and then do um, the continuity how and how to get those readings. So all right, we'll crack on down here and we'll show you if there's any more dodges. Builders electric strike again, flipping out, look at this. So we're testing the hob, the hob's fine. However, under here, look, this is the hob cable. Oh, it just pees up off the wall, so the, the flex of these are normally about about this long, so therefore 
Well, I think what they've done then, they've uh, gone done the kitchen, they've had this fitted, and then they've got it tiled. And what they've done is tiled it, and then got to this and gone, ah, we'll just tile over it. So behind here, then there'll be an isolator. Look for that. How shocking is that? There we go then. So that's a C2 then. So we'll, uh, we'll start naming the classifications um, of what they are. We'll all do it at the end if we have a little recap and see what's been a C1, C2, C3. So, so far then we've got um, no SPD then. So that'll just be a recommendation. So that's a C3. Uh, unless they've got like an EV charger. So, so someone pointed out the other day then of pen fault detection on EV charging that if you don't have the SPD, then potentially if you have a surge, it could damage the pen fault detection and therefore um, be a C2 then, wouldn't it? If you're gonna get electrocuted, if you go touch your car, if there's a pen fault. <clears throat> so then, what, we're gonna, what, what the solution would be then, would be to either come up under and put an isolate in the back of that cupboard and feed the hob, or you'd have to come up and over if you were to refeed that. But currently, that cable is sat in the wall over here. What, what have you got for lunch then? Uh, roast beef monster lunch. Oh, they're the best flavour. Yeah, they are. A sausage roll. Um, so, I've got some chicken and rice. Chicken and rice, yeah. Yeah, and then I've got a whisper bath. Whisper night, you're going all out today, aren't you? You're not, you're not getting a big tiger bread today. <laughs> and then on the way back you're going to get a Greg's. Nice, so we've got another one then. So, we've got these living room lights then. They're all metal. A little wall light with a switch on. So, give this a flick. Turns on. No earth. <laughs> so yeah, you're flicking that. If there's a fault on that, it's going to be like a little, little human fly, fly zapper. So there's no ICD protection as well. So same again, that switch and this switch, no earth. So it's worth actually testing everything. Um, Cause yeah, you could end up killing somebody and saying it's all right. And we've got some more dodges. Look at this then. This is definitely a, I can do it for 20 quid on Facebook. So that's just in there. We're just disconnecting this at the moment. So that goes to a, a little, goes up there. So we've got indoor cable running on the outside in the garage here. Then we've got loads of uh, interesting stuff going on. Look at this. Get your finger in there and get a shot. All the exposed life parts. So yeah, that's definitely a C1. So what we've done then is just disconnected that then. Because, uh, yeah, if anyone touches that, they're going to get a shock out there. There we go, more builder, builder magic. Yeah, hey, so that's everything done then. So there's a few dodges. Did we show them the outside? So we've got some outside lights then, which were wired in indoor cabling. So that's that dodgy one going to the garage. And then we had some dodgy outside lights here. So that was PVC cabling then. So obviously it hasn't got the UV protection that outside rated cable has. So obviously we have to uh, get that started. So we'll just have a quick run through of what, what the issues were then. So it's a bit tiny on my screen. Let's even zoom in. So yeah, hob, can't believe that. So somewhere here, there's an isolator where they've just literally just come out of the hob be straight up the tile and there's, there's just a connection there so how bad is that and then we've got uh what else we've got kitchen down lights so 12 down lights in here so these aren't fire rated so if there's a fire it'd spread really quickly rather than the down lights with the fire rating which is supposed to last x amount of hours yeah down lights so not earth so we've got some switches not earth so we're just going to quote to swap them to plastic for now so obviously if it's plastic there's no there's you, you got your electrical separation you can't get electrocuted uh, what else we got then living room lights they're not earth so that little switch thing it's one you have to actually touch so that's even worse now if it's ever there's a fault you're going to get electrocuted there's no rsd protection on that as well uh, socket outside then we showed you that then so that needs redoing the garage needs redoing uh, fuse board so plastic needs an 18th edition one, that's just a C3 then, so recommendation, and obviously the SPD protection, surge protection device. And then, I think that's about it. And then just obviously for the lighting then, so we're gonna quote just to rewire and earth to those points, so at least they can keep the metal fittings instead of having a plastic pendant. Right then, so uh, this is the subscriber then, so how have you found us then then? Well, to be honest, very professional. Um, you found a few faults and you fixed them for me, which is like yeah. 
and you've done a really good job i would highly highly recommend your company yeah uh, thank you very much then so there we go that's it so we've got a subscriber that's got us in and uh yeah we sorted them out with a few few repairs which is good but unfortunately there's other bits that have uh that don't quite hit the mark so we'll have to quote to um sort them out for him half there we go half the stuff eating on camera is it yeah. half the i know we, we miss all the gold don't we of, of you getting so John just hit the toilet there and Brian lifted the handle and then he couldn't get out. <laughs> he got stupid door. This door's stupid. It don't work. <laughs> yeah, because I thought I had to unlock it halfway through opening the door and then somehow magically it opened. Because I was like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> Stupid door. <laughs> All right, look at this. A bit of shepherd's pie. Oh, going to get it in my mouth. Not bad. Yeah, that's all we've got time for today then so if you like this kind of content hit the like button hit subscribe hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload so as always i'm going from me and the customer this time <laughs> we'll see you on the next one